Hey, this is Jamie from Stillmeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in the game Roam from Ryan Lockett at Red Raven Games. Roam has a mechanism that actually feels very similar to the combat mechanism found in Sleeping Gods. He designed Roam first, as far as I know, and uh, this mechanism is really, really cool. It's, it's basically taking this whole combat mechanism and put it into this game in a non combat -y way. Basically, you are trying to wake up characters who have fallen asleep in this land, and the board is populated by, uh, the board is created really by six of these cards that show a three by three grid. Um, and on your turn, you are going to activate one of your characters to cover up two spaces on the, uh, on the board in this exact configuration. So you can see this, this character has this configuration. So I would need to place like a token here and then a token here. And it's always facing the same way. So if I if my character is facing this way, I can't twist my character around or twist that configuration around. I have to place it exactly how the configuration is shown relative to my perspective of how this map is drawn. And if I cover up certain spaces, like if I covered up this space and that space, I would gain two coins, which is great. That's a great use of it. My favorite mechanism in the game, though, happens when these cards are completed. So when a player places the last token on one of these cards, something happens. You look at how many to you look at the total number of tokens for each player on this card, and whichever player has the most tokens on that card, they gain control of the card, and every other player gains a coin. No matter how many tokens those players have on the card, there's also a tiebreaker system. But I love the idea that players are working together to complete these cards, even in a competitive game, but there is a benefit, uh, a different benefit, whether, you, whether or not you were the last player to complete it. So it gives players a reason to go ahead and complete cards, and yet, there's also a reason to just get on a bunch of different cards so that when any player completes them, uh, you'll gain a benefit, even though you're not gaining the card itself. The other favorite mechanism or favorite thematic touch in the game that I really like is that if you are the player with a majority of tokens on this card, meaning that you gain this card, you have woken up a character and you flip the card over, you gain this side of the card, which gives you a new character with a new configuration that you can place on the on the board. Um, and also, there's a little backstory here, and this is just a little touch, but I think this is so clever that it tells you what happened, what the character was doing before they fell asleep, um, before the, the land made them fall asleep. Sorry about the lighting in the background. I don't quite know what's going on there. But in this example, it says the character's name, Eggle Eggleg, was collecting snails in a buried city. Um, every character has just a little tiny backstory there, and it really adds a lot to the game, just, just that little tiny bit. So I really like that thematic touch um, paired with this completion system where completion feels good, whether you have the majority or whether you just have a token or two on that card. Yeah, so that's my favorite mechanism in Rome. If you've played it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.